Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be covering how to get rid of white flies from your hemp plants. While white flies are nowhere near the top of the list of the worst type of bugs to get in your grow space, as you can probably still salvage a grow even after a large infestation, in terms of getting rid of them, white flies are one of the hardest pests to completely eliminate. White flies like to lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves and typically start doing so with the lower leaves before making their way up the plant. The flies and their larvae both suck the juices from the leaves, which makes the plant weaker, more susceptible to other bugs and diseases, and slows down the growth. On top of that, white flies produce a sticky substance known as honeydew, which can cause fungal diseases and attract other bugs such as ants. So if you see tiny white flies flying around your plant, little dots of damage on your leaves, or a weird shiny layer on top of your leaves from the honeydew, then be sure to check the underside of your leaves for whitefly eggs and larvae. If caught early on, an easy way to stop the flies from spreading is to use an insecticidal soap or a vacuum to take care of the adults. Unfortunately, the insecticidal soaps doesn't kill the eggs, and the eggs are usually pretty stuck on the leaves and something like a vacuum won't work as well. So to get rid of any eggs and larvae, check the underside of each fan leaf, especially the lower ones, and remove any of the leaves with the egg and larvae on them. Another method if your grow space is outdoors that's less reliable but much more green is to release a bag of ladybugs or lace wings in your grow space. Both of these pest eaters can actually be purchased by the thousands and shipped alive for a very small cost. Just know that these probably won't completely remove the pests, but they will dwindle down the population of not just white flies, but almost all the small plant eating pests. Just be mindful that both of these bugs will leave your grow space and search for more food once the pest population is almost gone. So while they're not a long-term solution, it never hurts to have a bunch of these around your garden either way. If the white fly infestation is a lot worse though, and eggs can be found throughout your entire plant, then you'll want to consider using an insecticide. The issue here is that white flies can build a resistance to most insecticides. So even if it does kill off a number of the flies, if some survive, they will need to be taken care of or else the infestation could come back. One way of preventing white flies from building up a tolerance to an insecticide is to rotate between a few that are effective against these pests. Spinosad, neem oil, and as we mentioned earlier, insecticide of soaps are all effective against white flies and a rotation of the three could weed out a large part of the population. Just be sure when spraying to target the underside of the leaves. And while Spinosad is safe to use on both the buds and the leaves, neem oil and insecticide soaps are not. So if you're in the flowering stage, you can either just stick with Spinosad or when using neem oil and insecticide soaps, avoid spraying the buds. Once most of the flies are taken care of, to lower the chances of them coming back, you can use yellow sticky traps to lure the adults away from your plant leaves. And while eradication of white flies from your grow space is not always possible, controlling their population to a minimum until you can harvest your plants is a reasonable option as well. And that's it. Hopefully with this information, you'll have a better understanding of how to combat white flies. Like the content? then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com. <laughs>